You know what can bring us together? Dogs. I think dogs could bring people together. You could have people who don't agree on politics or sports or much of anything, but if they love their dog and you spoke about their dog, suddenly I think they'd open up and communicate with you and relate to you in ways that maybe they wouldn't normally because of their love of their dog. I'm not kidding. I think most people are happy to talk about their love of dogs or their dog in general. And I want to tell you a little bit about mine. See, I admire my dog because he is a lot of what I aspire to be, but often fail to be. I mean, he doesn't hold grudges. He doesn't seem to mind that he eats the exact same meal over and over every day of his life. And water? Hey, if he runs out, he's perfectly fine drinking out of a toilet. No complaints. Ricky Gervais, the comedian, once put it this way. He said, my Labrador Retriever thinks that any idea I have is the best idea he's ever heard. Perfect. My dog is not impressed with money or fashion. He loves strangers if they merely scratch the back of his ears and speak to him in sweet and adoring tones. He's a lovely soul. My dog isn't much of a barker or a growler, and I like that too. He has no interest in picking a fight. One very early morning, we were out walking at five o'clock. My dog saw two coyotes coming towards us. He thought those coyotes were two potential friends. I had to tell him they were not. He seemed kind of disappointed and the coyotes wanted no part of a fight with him. But I think that's the way people should be in life. Make friends, have no interest in fighting, eat your meals, don't complain, and take nice long walks every day. <laughs> My dog keeps everything simple. He's not thrilled with squirrels because, you know, they can taunt him, and yet he knows not to bother with them either because he can't catch them, which is another metaphor for life, by the way. Don't chase things you can't catch. My dog loves the cat next door, though the cat is kind of afraid of him. I think that's wonderful too. How wonderful if in life we can love the cat next door, even if that cat doesn't love us. He lives his life the way some religions preach to us. He's generous, he seems to care about other people in the simplest of ways. My dog's never petty. He doesn't value much more than the day, the meal, the nap, the kind word, the ball, and more food. It's an endless loop of the pursuit of food. Well, I'll end this little essay now, but I, I could talk about my dog virtually endlessly. He's got soul and kindness, and he's got a big heart. And he doesn't need much. He won't hear this. He can't hear this, but if he could, he wouldn't care in any way because he's not vain and doesn't care about seeing or hearing about himself. He just wants to live his life, love his life, eat a lot, sleep a lot, walk, play ball, and do it all over again tomorrow. My God, I am so jealous. That's the way I'd like to live my life. You're not, you're not kidding me. He's kissing me to death. Help! He's a good doggy. <laughs> 